Today's video will be on a Roman coat pattern in centimeters. I'd like you to use an old sheet, preferably not one with a pattern on it, since you're going to be drawing on the sheet. There will be three pieces. There will be a big back piece. And we're going to take this back piece and we're going to be cutting it here and making this one. And then we'll do the hood. So what you need to do is you need to uh, get a piece of fabric that's at least 160 centimeters the length and the width. If it's bigger, that would be better. Make sure it's stable and that you have it on a flat surface. We're going to draw the entire large piece of the coat. Then when got a, we're going to cut off the larger piece and use the leftover to make a new one that goes down the front. This pattern helps the buyers not to pull the coat down and to make it uneven. So what you're going to get out is you're going to get out your T-square and you're going to line up. Oh, I have it set up the other way. That's okay. We'll turn it. First, you're going to turn it the long way and you're going to extend the line down to make it 160 centimeters down. So what we need to do now is we need to get pencils or pens, whichever you prefer. Make sure the distance is the same from the bottom and you're going to tie string. Okay, I use this, it's fine. You cannot use yarn because yarn will pull and the measurements will not be correct. So this string from distance to distance has to be 160 centimeters. Of course, this is not <laughs> okay, but that's okay. So now you have your line going down. You're going to be doing another line across. So you're going to be turning this. Put your T-square at the top. Extend your ruler. I bet you it's an, probably a metric ruler. And you're going to get your pencil, so your pen, and tie it. Okay. You have to have two people. One has to hold it at the top. The other one has to draw it across the bottom. So you're going to put your pencil, your pen, in the corner. Bring it down to the bottom line and swing it to the end. And that you'll have a line, you'll have a circular line there. And what you're going, what I would suggest you do is to get out a flexible tape measure after and go from, check it, take it in the corner, bring it around here, here, a couple, quite a few places, and make sure it's 160 centimeters. And then if you end up going, when you swung the pencil up. Make sure you touch that line at the top. Okay. The larger piece you have just traced. Now you're going to be cutting it. Because we need to, we're going to be using this, you'll see in the other video where I have you how you make the cope. You'll see after you put it together that we're going to use this whole piece for the lining but we want to make a separate section going down the front that's why we are going to take this large piece and we're going to cut off 24 centimeters off of the top i want you to take the pattern and put back seam right here because <laughs> you'll find that you're going to use this one for the back seam and you're going to have to undo it because it's not going to be attached to the other piece it's going to be too short since you've already cut it, right? So now we have that back piece that you've cut off. 
We're only going to use that black piece to make a pattern. That is not going to be part of the pattern. Okay, you'll see. This is the piece that we cut off. We're going to extend it one centimeter towards the bottom of the cope. And we're going to extend it by six centimeters here. We added it to the big piece for the seam allowance. And now we're going to add it to this piece for the seam allowance. We add it to this portion here. Sometimes when I put a canvas underneath this back piece going down the front, uh, the canvas pulls the fabric up because of the stitches or how I sew, I don't know. So I always add it. And then when I add the lining to it, and that, well, when I put, so this one to the bottom piece later, sometimes it's a little bit longer, which is fine. Sometimes it's perfect. It just depends on how that's sewn, what kind of trim I'm putting on that piece coming down, because it's actually going to be like this, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to be doing this little corner here, which is the neck. So we're going to use the T-square as our point of measurement. We're going to take the T-square and in that upper left-hand corner, we're going to measure, I don't have it on this, five centimeters. We're going to draw a line five, five centimeters down, 18 centimeters across. We're going to put a dot there. Put a dot at the last at the top 20 centimeters. Sorry. The next line is going to be eight centimeters down, 15 and a half across, 10 centimeters down, 13 centimeters across, 13 centimeters down will be our dot. Now to check it. This curvature here. Should be about 25 and a half. What I do is I take my flexible tape measure and I run it along the line standing up. And as I stand it up and bring it to here, it should be 25 and a half centimeters. So that's for the big part of the cope. Now we're going to do the hood. I take some fabric and I fold it in half. Again, you want to use something that you can write on. So the piece of fabric has to be at least 70 centimeters long and 26 centimeters across. You have to use the T-square for this angle here, this angle here. And what you're going to do is you're going to use your flexible tape or whatever, but I want you to check it. Make sure it's 26 centimeters at the top and at the bottom. We're going to be taking this first measurement here for the neck, and then the second one I give you will be for the bottom. So check it. There's the T-squares. We're gonna check the T-square here and here. So you're gonna check it from side to side. Make sure that it is 26 centimeters at the top and at the bottom. We don't want it crooked. Then your hood will be crooked. So here's an example of what it's gonna look like. We're gonna have this measurement here on one sheet, and I'll get the other sheet, and we'll do this measurement here. So now from the neck edge. The neck edge, we are going to put a dot at eight centimeters in this corner here. We're going to come down five centimeters and put a dot at 10 centimeters. Come down 7.5 centimeters. Make a dot at 12 centimeters. Come down 10 centimeters. Put the dot at 15 centimeters. Down 13 centimeters. Across 21 centimeters, come down 14 centimeters, come across 26 and a half. Now you have all those dots. 
and you can take the flexible tape again and measure standing up that line, that curvature, and it should be 26 centimeters. If it's not 20, you know, if it's not exact, it's okay. It can't be a lot off though. It shouldn't be at least one centimeter off or else we do it. Now for the bottom curve. This is at the bottom of that. I want you to come down 46 centimeters and draw a line. Take your tape from the top to here, from the top to here. 46 centimeters down. And this width should be 26 centimeters. Okay. Then we're going to come down 51 centimeters, draw a line and a dot at 25. Come down 56 centimeters, come across, put a dot at 24 centimeters. Down again to the 60, 23 centimeters across. Next one, 63 centimeters, 19 centimeters, 15, last one, right? 66 centimeters down, 15 centimeters across. And then this should be 70, excuse me, 70 centimeters. Excuse me. <laughs> We're going to take that tape again. Start at that 46 centimeter line. Stand it up. 39.5 centimeters. And that'll do all your pieces for your hood. Good luck. Good cutting.